All right, it's actually been a while since I've had to use this phone stand or my school computer to do a video, but you know what? Um, I usually don't make too many videos while I'm here, but of course I have to be here when the playoffs are starting to come around, so I gotta make my playoff previews. So this is the second one for the Central Division. It's between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Nashville Predators. I would say Hurricanes, but now that I've seen the Predators play the Hurricanes um, a couple times, I think that maybe this series could be closer than people think. So, first of all, before we get into the actual statistics, um, please go make sure to go down below and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me as we are trying to get to 800. Well, I mean, the main goal is 1,000, but 800 would be nice um, before the, before the um, second round of the playoffs. And, I mean, we're only 20 away, so, I mean, we very well could make it and i mean we've we've done harder accomplishments so i mean you know maybe someday and if you want to follow my social medias that's also down below as well twitter instagram all the other ones anyways that's it for me covering my other crap let's get into the actual preview so this is the first time in nhl history that the predators and the hurricanes have faced off um yes the first time in history i think that doesn't really surprise anyone because they haven't met in the Stanley Cup finals they're not in the same conference and uh, in, in real life. And yeah, first time in NHL history. So Ajo leads the team in pretty much everything here. I'll just say everything. He leads with 57 points, 24 goals, and 33 assists. Um, that is just a great statistic. He's been, he's been absolutely great for the Hurricanes. It's really been a team effort. Um, you don't really have guy one guy who's scoring an insane amount of points. It's really a bunch of guys who are scoring insane amount of points. And, you know, I think that, you know, Ajo has really proved himself to be a good top six forward and he's getting paid his money pretty well this season. And I mean, yeah, he's playing he's playing very well. And I mean if Nashville wants to shut him down, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to keep an eye on um Sebastian Ajo. But you got a, you got a lot of guys you want to keep an eye on in um in Carolina. And then you have Mrazic in the goaltending net with one point seventy seven goals against average. Um, he should start the playoffs. I don't think that um, Reimer and Adelkovic should start. So, yeah. So, I think he's been pretty good. He has been injured, though. But he did come back and play pretty well. So, I'll give him that credit. And anyways, on to Nashville. Um, before we talk about basically just the series. Uh, Roman Yossi leads the team with 33 points. Um, Yossi has had kind of a down year um, as a Norris caliber defenseman. Some people... Still say he is. I don't really know what I think of him anymore, to be honest. I think he's really fallen off as a defenseman, at least this season. Uh, Mikhail Granlin leads with 13 goals. That actually surprised me that their leading goal scorer has 13 goals only. Only 13. So I'm, I might have that wrong, but that's actually really shocking to me that that's actually their statistic. And then Roman Yossi leads in the 25 assist mark as well. So yeah, and then Mikhail Granlin too. That's just kind of a sign where maybe, eh, I don't know, maybe you want to do a little bit of a retool because you do have um very high contracts in there that are kind of looking like terrible contracts. Johansson, Arvidsson, Duchesne are only a few that I can think of off the top of my head. And Greenland as well. He's getting paid like $4 million, I think. So, you know, it's it's really just kind of a big thing with Nashville in that front. And then Jose Saros leads with a 2.28 goals against average um, in the goaltending area. He should start. I'm not too sure if Rene might come in there for a little bit, but I think that Saros should play the majority of that series. Um, he proved it in the playoffs against the Coyotes that he can be a starting goaltender. And you know what? So far this season, he really... At the, be at the beginning, it was wasn't really what we expected but now it's like all right so he is kind of getting to that flow of play so i'm not gonna I'm not gonna diss him at all but i think you know he's played fairly well the past couple of weeks especially in nashville's just incredible turnaround in the fourth spot incredible they were like seventh for a while there they were almost at eighth detroit was chilling at eighth though so you know uh yeah so it is an incredible turnaround for Nashville. And, you know, at the beginning of this, I would say, like, oh, I think Carolina's going to win this fair and square. This is going to be an easy win for Carolina. I don't know now. 
Um, look, I know last night they lost 5 nothing, or they beat the Hurricanes 5 nothing. the Predators did. And, look, but, the, but Carolina had a lot of their players resting. So, I don't blame them for losing that game. It's the game before that um, that makes me a bit concerned. Because I think Nashville can absolutely beat Carolina. But, it's going to be a pretty big challenge. you got to watch for a lot of guys on that team. Um, they have insane depth on the blue line. They have great offense and you know what every move that the hurricanes have made they've made it right made it correctly so i think that you look at that and you say well they have enough depth on offense where they get someone injured they can put someone in there who they trust in that position so and who will come in and actually contribute to the team in a much better way than not turning over the puck or creating opportunities like scoring goals like that's someone that the hurricanes have so the Predators need to be really careful about that. You need to lock down your defense, but the same, but at the same time, you gotta score goals. You you're, you can't have um your leading goal scorer have only thirteen. Um no, that's not gonna work. So I think that you know with with them, they're definitely going to have to lock it down. And for Carolina, just play like you did all season. Um, being really honest with you, there, this team has been really entertaining to watch. Um, I have a lot of good friends who are Hurricanes fans, and they've been pretty excited about the playoff run. Um, hopefully they don't get upset. They'll have home ice advantage, although in some areas that, that doesn't really matter in these playoffs because you don't have fans. But, I mean, yeah, home ice advantage. So, hey, let me know what you guys think is going to win down below. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If there's anything I missed, uh, please let me know below. There's a couple of things I missed. I think I missed the record um, between these two teams throughout the um, – this season, I'll have to look. I I forgot to put that down here. I kind of made this um, yesterday uh, right off the bat. But hey, thank y'all for watching, for all your support, and I will see you guys in the next video.